Can you spot the bug in this code? There's actually at least three. To start, we've got a bad character here. It's kind of easy to miss. The next one is we're not encoding any of these query params. So if text has space or other special characters, this can cause us problems. So we can add encode your component here. And we should really add it here and here just to be safe. And we've got yet another issue. Because this URL string is long, we broke it into multiple lines. If we throw this into our terminal, you'll find that there's a new line character here, which again will break this URL. That's because new lines in a multi-line string preserves the new line character, which we don't want. So we can modify this yet again to concatenate multiple strings. And this is just getting ugly. And there's a better way in modern JavaScript. You can instead use the URL constructor. This gives us a structured way to read, write, and modify URLs that add safeguards to prevent those previous issues. We can now use a structured way to set the params, which will make sure that the values are encoded. We use all the right characters for separating the params, and this fits nicer across multiple lines without risk of new line characters. Now, when we call url.toString, we will get exactly the URL we want. Similarly, getting search params from the current URL is equally easy and structured and requires no libraries. And you can even update the current URL with new params and redirect to that new URL. The URL constructor is available in all modern browsers, as well as Node.js and Dino. You can learn more about what you can do with the URL constructor in my article over on the builder.io blog.